So here are the three different effects you can get with the same pattern. And you can use that with almost any pattern as long as you have enough folds to get a lot of definition. This one you fold all the way, every page all the way to the spine, well, a couple inches from the spine. That, top and bottom. This one, it's all one flat surface in front. It's kind of a ghost image. And this one goes halfway, and then you have folds like that. This is going to be the normal way to fold a book pattern. The first way that I would suggest and that I've been doing so far. I've only recently started experimenting with different ways to fold a pattern. Okay, this is a heart. I've already folded part of it. You see right here. And this, the normal way is you're going to score the top where you want uh, the top fold to be. Score it nice and deep so that you get a tick mark showing on every page right here. And then mark the bottom with a pencil where you're going to fold, make the bottom fold. Okay, and then you simply stick your pattern behind the page that you're going to fold. Make sure it's just one hook. Hook it to the top. See there's a, a little tab right there. That tab is going to be hooked to the top of the book. Like so. And line it up with the stripe that you're working on. Hold that. It helps to have a uh, little bit of nails and then fold it to that tick mark up there. With practice you'll be able to hit that most of the time. But I don't worry so much about hitting that. This and this are the important uh, things to worry about. So I'm hitting that stripe, hitting the bottom there ironing it with my fingernail and then you just keep doing that with every single fold black and white you mark off the one that you just did put the pattern behind the next fold the next fold the next page and fold top, bottom, and mark. Next page, top, line it up with the next stripe. It's a white stripe this time, it was black the last time quite make it to the tick mark. I'm not going to worry about that. And the bottom. Mark that white stripe. Move on to the black, etc. So that gives you, you'll be able to see the fold all the way to two inches away from the spine, top and bottom and your entire pattern will look carved out of the book. Another way is to leave uh, some of the pages folded about halfway up the book. This is what we're doing with this pattern. Folding three and then fourth one is simply folded to a line that is marked a couple inches, inch and a half from the edge of the book. Right here. Okay. One, two, three, and straight up and down. 
one, two, three, straight up and down. Okay, let's show you how it's done with the pattern. One, two, take that off. Now the fourth one, I've got the line marked down here, you can barely see that right there. So I'm folding it to the line, a bad hangnails here, and I am taking it off. You can however, just fold it and not take it off and continue on with your pattern. Okay back when that's done. The third way to fold the exact same pattern is to simply skip pages every so often. On this one um, I fold, I did five folds, skipped a page, did not mark it off, did not tick it off on the pattern, Five folds, skip a page, five folds, skip a page, etc. Don't even touch the pages that you skip, and that way you have a kind of a ghost pattern that's a really cool effect. Mm -hmm.